Today we need to talk about Jungkook being asked to punch a sase and stuff like that. I also want to get into Jungkook and Jenny apparently seen together during a Calvin Klein party. And then we have Shugo and RM believed to be taking legal action. So hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Who have his own blends? He's fully monk merch and let's go. The first thing we need to talk about is J-Hope and what happened with him recently. J-Hope is obviously in the military and there's been some pictures of him that have recently come out. He has been seen having his meal, he has been seen in group photos, and we see him posing and smiling for the camera. Now there's a couple of theories I think some people in the fandom have, and I'm trying to put myself in their shoes to see what they think because otherwise I can't make sense of any of these actions I'm about to tell you. But I think these people think that the photos we see of J-Hope at the camp are private photos that are only meant for J-Hope and J-Hope to keep in his phone or something. And thus people have hacked into his phone and leaked these private military photos. But that is not the case. If you are unaware, I will explain. And if you are aware, bear with me. But the military has an app called The Camp and the app allows you to view progress for anyone that is in the military. And that app is public. However, not super public where everyone in the app is famous. It's meant for friends and family to monitor their loved ones and see how far they've progressed in the service and see pictures to see if their little boy looks healthy and okay. It's meant as a way to check in since the soldiers don't always have access to their phones and don't normally get a lot of social media time to update everyone. So the government does the updating for them. So anyone in Korea can literally download this app and view any specific person. This includes idols like J-Hope. Now the part I can understand people saying this stalking or whatever is that obviously the app was never intended to be this public, right? It's not an app that you download if you don't have family or friends in the service. But now there's all these people who don't even have friends or families enlisted simply downloading the app just to see J-Hope and Jin. However, if this was an issue, the app would be password protected and only meant for people who have access, right? And that's not the case, it's public. J-Hope has obviously followed the news when Jin was enlisted and definitely saw the news coverage surrounding Jin and the photos. So he knew that when he went himself, there would be a similar thing and he does not care. Now, there was a new photo that came out where it's believed to be J-Hope, but J-Hope is hiding his face. He has his cap down and and he is all the way in the back. How people know it's J-Hope, I don't know. I imagine they're simply just narrowing down who isn't there and they see that there are only one person that they don't see the face of is J-Hope. But literally that could be anyone, right? People were then saying that this was done by design because J-Hope was simply annoyed by all the coverage and decided to just go ahead and hide his face. That makes no sense. If you really don't want to be seen, I'm sure you can opt out of taking a photo in general. This isn't part of training, right? This isn't like if you don't do it, you're not serving your country or a good soldier. It's optional to take a photo. Photo. Just like any of you have the right to decline any photo you don't want to be in, this isn't a paparazzi photo. It's literally a group photo. Others were then saying that J-Hope was being used and that it's so sad that he is. The others were saying that the military or news site will be sure to not do this to Suga and RM because Suga and RM will be sure to sue right after. Sue for what? You can only sue if it involves money or actual proven damages. Suga and RM would not be losing money from these photos. If anything, they'd make money because they're remaining top of mind for people when they're in the news and then there's no damage. This doesn't hurt them in any way. Not their reputation, not their safety, not anything. The likelihood of stalkers charging into the military where there are guns and bombs, these stalkers have to literally be so dumb. So I was shocked that this was even a conversation that was being had. People like to think that every little thing hurts the boys when in reality, they're often prepared for the stuff that they get thrown into. There's more severe things like people calling in threats for a concert. That might be something you can prepare for but never actually prepare when it happens. But other things like what to do when fans are overcrowded at the airports or what to do when a fan is rude to you, this is all a part of the training they get when they are trainees. So they're not confused about what to do or how to mentally prepare. People were saying that there are moments where Jungkook needs to throw punches. There was a moment back in 2018 where Jungkook and BTS had appeared at the airport. This was believed to be during their Taiwanese appearance and the airport was getting very overcrowded. From what we see in the photos and stuff, none of the fans were pushing or doing anything like that. However, overcrowding in general is a safety hazard, like a fire hazard. And of course, the members would be unable to move if there's too many people. The members were on the airport cart and 
they seemed kind of annoyed. I can't deny that. They seemed like they were upset. The Taiwanese fans were getting a lot of backlash because the fans were heavily recording BTS. They were putting their phones up to BTS's face and people thought that this was controversial. People said that Jungkook needed to throw punches because these people were treating BTS like zoo animals and calling everyone their sasangs or stalkers. And people know how Jungkook feels about sasangs. I don't imagine this situation being super overwhelming to BTS members per se, but I do feel like they would feel scared to enter if they saw this many people running about. So since then, BTS has made an effort to go out the back door if there's too many people that show up, and then specific parts of the fandom have made an effort to create more organization for these events. So there's the purple ribbon project created by armies where people would stand with purple ribbons to block armies from getting too close to the boys. And that's beautiful. I can understand their possible frustration with moments like this because it just makes them feel unsafe. If you've ever been to an airport, you're often caught at vulnerable moments. You're traveling, you're probably thinking about 50 things, and the last thing you may need to think about is what angle I look best at, because you don't want to be seen all over the internet looking not so great. Thankfully, a lot of the logistics of traveling are taken care of by the member's team, but there's still probably a lot going through the member's head. Because of situations like this, I would imagine in other situations, it would make the members feel uneasy as well. Apparently, someone had leaked that Jungkook arrived at the Calvin Klein party recently, and that makes sense as he is the ambassador. Jenny was also apparently there as well because she is the ambassador too and those people actually saw the two together. There was a person who had recorded the party and we saw Jungkook and Jenny across the room from each other. The fandom erupted to say that Jungkook probably wanted to talk to Jenny and couldn't because the fandom will get upset. And then other people were saying that Jungkook wouldn't even care to talk to Jenny because Jungkook is the king and so why would he want to talk to anyone else? This is supposed to be a semi-private party and so the fact that that the two were even recorded to be seen is an interesting conversation to begin with. But I don't think Jungkook thinks of himself as high and mighty and of course would want to meet other people and one of the other big faces of Calvin Klein, he's there to network, otherwise why show up? However, the internet came on strong to attack both Jungkook and Jenny, and this erupted a conversation about who started these attacks. And that is a debate that is not for this channel, honestly. I don't even know where to start there. But I think what is so sad is that there are definitely a lot of people like me that want them to interact and talk and be friends. And to be honest, they probably are friends. They just maybe don't talk when in public because as you can tell, people just record things and you never know what will be recorded. But people were saying that this party must have been so awkward because they probably wanted to say, hi but opted not to do that. And then there were even some weird rumors that the two were spotted in Seoul like outside the party or that maybe they spent some time together. I don't exactly know about that. However, the idea of them spending time together is not weird because Lisa Tan and Bogum have probably spent a significant amount of time together or at least at one point. The brands will put you in the same room and I doubt this was even the first time Jungkook and Jenny were in a room together. Calvin Klein likely has had more casual get-togethers and they probably have had dinner together at one point. This is just my theory though. There was so much hate being thrown around after the party and I just want to say that it needs to stop. It's not even all dating rumors, but the idea that people in the fandom just think Jungkook or Jenny is so much better than the other person that they don't deserve to be in the same room as their fave and this is stupid. Neither Jenny or Jungkook thinks that they're king and that everyone else is a peasant. Please stop putting them on that pedestal. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks. Just love the comment right here. Love you. Bye.